Hi, welcome to Ziga Your Review. So the background that I have right there behind me with the lights, I want to put something there. So I decided that I'm going to put some shelving and I'm going to put some stuff on it to, you know, liven up my background. And so these are some of the things that I came up with. So I got this shelf from Ikea. It's pretty long. I don't know if it fits in the frame there. I got a smaller one of this, so I'm going to put them behind me. And I got this light, also from Ikea. And um, I'm going to use this to put back there for the light. But what I didn't know was that it comes, it has an A12 um, light bulb that goes here. I have a regular size light bulb that has RGB lighting on it and it doesn't fit. So that was my bad. I didn't pay attention to the box when I got it. And uh, so I ordered a light bulb that should be coming tomorrow. So on the next video, you should see this whole thing set up. But, um, you know, I want to keep you involved in uh, the things that I'm doing around here and the changes that I'm making. So why don't we see how easy it is to install this? So based on the instructions, it looks like I'm going to need screws, which they don't come with the thing. I don't think. Hold on. So it doesn't come with screws. I already did the measurements that I need. So I guess I got to use my own screws. I... Not sure if I have any. Looks like I do. No, I always struggle to open these little screw boxes for some reason. I feel like I'm getting screws sometimes. Let's see if these are good enough. Perfect. So if you're planning on doing this, you're going to need drill bits, screws. One of these, that is a stud finder. And worthless instructions from Ikea. Also going to need a level and a pencil to mark where you're going to do your thing. All right, now that we have the marks, we can go ahead and drill. Baby drill. Time to screw. See that in the back? That isn't going anywhere. So now, when I'm talking to you, you're gonna see this. Well, the camera is higher because I want you to see that. And the shot is wider because I want you to see me doing that. But it's gonna be different. So, there's one more shelf. This one is smaller and it's gonna go on top of that one and I'm gonna use this to measure the height that I need in between. So that's a preliminary look or what this background is going to look like. 
have more work to do. All right, so the project's done. This is the next day. As I explained, I had to wait for the light bulb that goes into that lamp to come in the mail in order to complete the whole project. And so this is what it looks like now. What do you think? Uh, this is going to be the background going forward in every video. Something that I've been wanting to do for a while. And I didn't want to spend a lot of money on doing it either because even though this is my apartment, um, I wasn't really planning on putting anything back there originally before I started doing these videos. So I wanted something that I, could, I can change what's on the shelves if I have people over, you know, and I don't want them to see those things or just leave it like that. I think it looks nice whichever way. Because of that reason, I didn't want to spend a lot of money on creating like a crazy background. So I was lucky enough to go to Ikea and find uh, those shelves. I think it was the largest one was um, $15. A shorter one was $10, this one right here. And this lamp was also just $10. So the whole thing was like $35. So it wasn't, you know, a lot of money. And that's exactly what I was going for. Now, as I said, uh, the reason why I had to wait until today to finish this is because I was waiting for that light bulb. At the beginning of the videos, you heard I forgot to get a light bulb. Well, I didn't forget to get a light bulb. I didn't pay attention to the box and the light bulb that I had didn't fit the lamp. So I had to order one on Amazon. It came. And I'm actually glad that I did it on Amazon and not at IKEA because I looked at light bulbs on their website and I don't think I saw any that were RGB. So I'm glad that I waited for Amazon because I was able to get this one, uh, which was $26 if I'm not mistaken. I'll put the link in the description section. And this is RGB, so it allows me to change the colors on it. And the cool thing is that it comes with a remote. And there's actually two light bulbs in here. So there's another light bulb in here. So if I ever need it, you know, be set. So that's what it looks like. And it has a little cap here at the bottom to uh, protect the socket part, the part that goes into the socket. So I'm glad that I waited because it came and I was able to install and I can change the colors to whatever color I want to do at any point. So I can just point it, boom. Go back to red. Putting the shelves up didn't take me that long. It took me about 20, I'll say between 20 and 30 minutes, no more than that. And it probably would have taken me less time if I was prepared with everything that I needed, which I wasn't. Um, I kept going and getting the tools that I needed because I assumed that for some reason um, IKEA will include the things that I needed. And of course, it didn't. And lucky, and I was lucky enough to have the things that I needed to actually put it up. So if you are planning on doing something like this, uh, keep in mind that it probably take you less time than that if you have everything ready in front of you and you don't have to be going back and forth as I did. And lucky you, you got to see my underwear throughout the video. <laughs> that wasn't planned, um, it just happened. And, but you know what, that's, uh, that's what someone working looks like. I'm pretty proud of my little project. It was quick, it was easy, it was cheap and to me, that is a success. I mean, if you want to see more videos like this, um, is there anything that you are thinking on tackling yourself and want to have like a little video explaining how to do it because you don't want to mess up and you want somebody else to mess up for you, go ahead and let me know in the comment section. That's it for this video. Go ahead and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Hit that bell so you can be alerted every time we put new videos. And thank you very much for watching.